tomorrow. Hi, I'm Robbie Williams, and you're listening to The Breakfast Show with Gary and Glenn. This is my new single, Can't Stop Christmas, on Downtown Christmas. Robbie Williams, brand new single. He's with us. Robbie, tell us, did you write that song recently? Well, actually, what happened was it was August and my wife went, you're going to release the Christmas album again this year, aren't you? And I said, yeah, I'm going to release the Christmas album. She said, "Uh, what song are you going to write for it? And I said, I'm not going to write any song for it. I've already wrote 50 songs for that album. I'm not going to be right. She said, you are. You're going to be writing a new song. I said, I'm not. I'm not going to write a new song. She said, yeah, you are. She said, if you think about it, this time on the planet right now, um, there's never been a time like this in living memory. And you've sort of got to at least try and write something about it. And I said, no, I'm not going to do it. She said, yeah, you are. It's going to be called Can't Stop Christmas. Get on with it. And I was like, okay, then, like a nine-year-old. And off I went, and me and my drummer, Carl, and my piano player, Owen, wrote this song uh, called Can't Stop Christmas. And that was it, what you've just heard. So thanks to my wife, who micromanages me like no (laughs) other person can on the planet, that song exists. But hey, Robbie, here's the thing. Would you have it any other way? Uh, No, I would not have it any other way. It's kind of like having, like, left to my own devices, things would be a lot different than they actually yeah. are. <laughs> because she's in my life, you know, it's, I, it, she, she makes everything tick over and she keeps me healthy against my sort of better judgment. She is the angel of my higher nature and um, she forces me to be my better self every day. So, Robbie, we have now launched Downtown Christmas for 2020. We launched it with your new Christmas single, Can't Stop Christmas. But I've got a question for you. Of all the Christmas songs that have been released, what is your number one Christmas song? What is your favourite? Well, my favourite song of all time, my favourite Christmas song, and one of my favourite songs, full stop, is Fairy Tale of New York by The Pogues and Kirsty McCall and the reason why I love it so much is because it's gritty and it's authentic it's not necessarily a Christmas Christmas song but it's become uh, part of the fabric of everybody's musical lives that exist on this side of the planet since the late 80s and um, I just think it's clever the Pogues are one hell of a band Uh, and I love it it was Christmas with us and Robbie we were just chatting Glenn and I last week because we both have our Christmas decorations yes. already up we do what about what happens at your house is it you puts them up the wife the kids what happens there um, my wife illuminates the house like she thinks people that are on the space station need to see it and um, it's we have Blackpool illuminations and our house basically could be on the the, the, the seaside front of Blackpool. Um, there's too much of everything, including laughter and good cheer. So it's my favourite time of year. I'm sure it's a very noisy and very busy house at yours at Christmas, Robbie, with four kids running about. I've got one and the place can get turned upside down. Well, actually, Glenn let me into a bit of a secret. Is it true that uh, you're actually expecting your second child next year. (laughs) Robbie, I was telling you that in confidence. I don't think I was telling you for you to give it out on live radio. (laughs) Yes, that is true, Robbie. So far, we've only told family and close friends. But uh, we have got baby number two on the way on the 26th of May is the due date. And can I just say, by the way, because I haven't said it yet, congratulations. Thank you. (laughs) Oh, mate, uh, absolutely incredible congratulations. Congratulations. Um, I've got four. And when the when the first one arrived, she just blew my mind and I just wanted more of that. So um, congratulations on the love that you're about to receive. Oh, cheers, Robbie. Thanks a million. That means a lot to us. Hi, Robbie. Cheers means a lot to me. It's <laughs> o'clock this morning and we've got Robbie Williams with us. So, Robbie, you've got a new album on the go. What is that album called and what kind of stuff can we expect on that album? OK, so uh, the album is called The Christmas Present. It's a double album and there are the old favourites that you would expect to be on the album that I love. 
But basically, I recorded the old ones as a mechanism to get people to listen to the new songs that I've written. Spent a lot of time writing for this album. Uh, a lot of love's gone into it. Really proud of it. I hope it sticks around for years. Um, we shall see. You have a few big names teaming up with you on this album, Robbie. Uh, yeah, there is. There's uh, Brian Adams is on there. Tyson, Tyson Fury's Fury. on there. Rod Stewart's on there. Jamie Cullum's on there. <laughs> and Elena Fisher, a German artist that's incredible, is on there too. And Robbie, I noticed your dad features on the album. It must have been great working alongside him. Yeah, you know, it's like my, my career sort of... Um, I jumped further than my dad's career very quickly and to be able to my dad's a comedian and a singer and to be able to share these glorious studios with these huge orchestras uh, and to have him be part of my working life and giving him the opportunity and him giving me the opportunity to share that bond Priceless. Hi, I'm Robbie Williams, and you're listening to Downtown Christmas. Obviously, at this stage, Robbie, we're all hoping that things are going to be some way more normal in 2021. And for those of us looking forward to seeing you uh, again next year, are you going to be back on the road? Fingers crossed. And have you got much planned? Plenty of plans. So many plans. I've got TV shows, films, art, dance music, orchestral music. So much to do next year that... Um, I'm going to be very, very busy. I suppose, Robbie, while we have you here, uh, we need to talk about your beloved Port Vale. Not so good recently, though. Um, they were doing all right up until four games ago when the wheels have fallen off. Although, Robbie, I've just had a wee look online at Port Vale's last four games, which they have lost. I mean, that that's not a good sign. Surely that's not where you want things to be. No, it's not, because we've got a very good manager and we've got a very good side and uh, great things are expected them of, of them this season. I can only hope and wish, and I think that it's just that temporary lack of form and things will change soon. This. Robbie Williams, thank you so much for coming on the show and giving us your time. I hope you and the family have a wonderful Christmas. I'm honoured to be part of the musical fabric of your December. All right, all the best and congratulations again, Gary. Be well.